All right, guys, so as we continue to help more beginners, intermediate users, and even advanced web designers install WordPress at SiteGround, we continue to get more and more questions via email, Twitter, Facebook, etc., on how to use the SG Optimizer plugin. So in this video, we're gonna go over the different types of speed enhancing caches that the SG Optimizer plugin gives us. So let's get started. All right, guys, so the first thing you need to know is that when you're in Site Tools, you can go to speed and caching, and that's where it all begins. And the idea behind most of these features is to have all of them activated. So right now we have the Nginx Direct Delivery activated, which is good. Dynamic Cache, we can just go ahead and brush it or flush it. And Memcached, we're gonna activate from the WordPress end in a moment. So we need to go to our WordPress site, and once you're in the dashboard, you need to click on SG Optimizer. All right guys, so the most basic setting that needs to be on is the dynamic caching. That's the first level of caching, which is good for all types of websites, whether you use WordPress or not. Once you have this on, you can manually purge the cache by clicking this button right here. And what that does is gets rid of any images or files that are stuck in the browser that might be preventing new images from showing up that you put up. Going down, we're gonna to wanna to set automatic cache purge. And we don't wanna do the browser specific caching because that's only if you're experiencing issues with plugins or other site issues. Coming down a little lower, we're gonna to wanna to turn on that mem cached because that is what separates your site truly from other sites. Let's turn that on but it won't let us because we need to do that in site tools first. So this is one thing that you might not figure out if you didn't watch the video. Back in site tools here, we're gonna turn memcached on, and then you can just like refresh this page at optimizer and go down and turn on memcached. Now, what is memcached? Well, that's why I brought in George from the amazing SiteGround team who told me that the Memcache service, which is part of Supercacher, uses their own implementation of the popular Memcache system, so you know other big sites are using it. It speeds up database calls, API calls, and page rendering by storing data and objects in the server's RAM to reduce the number of times a database is queried. I know that's a lot, but bear with me. After you enable the service, it will spawn a new Memcache process for your account, which will be owned by your site tools user. So basically, you are serving your site via RAM, if I understand it correctly, which I'm not totally sure I do, but that will give you a lot more resources and save a lot of time for your readers because it's working on the database calls, API calls, and page rendering, which are all things that a lot of us don't want to bother working on, so SiteGround is going to speed them up for us. In other words, amazing. Thank you, SiteGround. So once you've got those two memcache things activated, I want you to go back to the SG Optimizer and I want you to go to the front end optimization. Now in this section, you can minify the HTML output, which is recommended. You can minify JavaScript files, which is also recommended. And you can combine the files too, which is unchecked because they're not sure if you wanna do that. Um, minimizing them will basically just reduce their size, but combining them will change the request to the server. So they need your permission to do that. I think you should do that. But if you have plugins that are like really advanced with jQuery or JavaScript, you might not want to, but in my case, it's just a simple WordPress blog. So I'm gonna do that. It's gonna increase the speed of my blog, which is a coaching and freelance website right here. Pretty cool. So now that we've done that in Optimizer, we can also go to Media Optimization. And I wanna tell you about Lazy Load Media. And what I wanna say is do it. Great. And then I also want to tell you about the environmental optimization and the WordPress heartbeat optimization, which George T told us about right here. He said that basically when multiple users are making changes, the WordPress heartbeat is responsible to synchronize them between the users and the server. So like if you have a multi-user site, like a blog with different users, this will synchronize those changes people make faster hopefully without any glitches. And it's also responsible for scheduled actions on the website, if you schedule posts or videos, so on and so forth. They have an official explanation, which is that WordPress Heartbeat API 
provides a communication protocol using AJAX calls between browser and server. As the name implies, the API will send continuous pulses and trigger events for callbacks upon receiving data. This function helps you to sync all the data between the server and the WordPress dashboard. So that is where I want to leave it, guys, because that is officially too tacky for most of us, including myself. Basically, the gist of it here is that you're utilizing a API that SiteGround creates for you. So you don't have to make your own API here, like make your own app to do this. And basically, when WordPress operates at its highest level, there are lots of events being triggered. And what this does is synchronize things so that they operate in the right order. And basically, you get to know all the information on your WordPress dashboard as quick as possible, and people get the best result on their end when they're enjoying and digesting your site. So I hope that's enough for a little intro on the WP Optimizer. Uh, rather, oh, sorry, the SG Optimizer that SiteGround offers. I think you're gonna love it. I just think you should enable a couple things to make it work great. There's also a speed test here where you can go ahead and just analyze your site and you can see how well things are working. So obviously this isn't available at other hosts. This is one of the reasons why I continue to recommend SiteGround to my most premium clients. I want them to enjoy it. It's only like a couple dollars more per month than your HostGators and Bluehost. And honestly, like the words and the numbers and the scores and all the data speaks for themselves. So. Enjoy guys, let me know any questions in the comments and if there's any feature in the SG Optimizer you haven't figured out, let's work on it together and let's make our websites as fast as possible together. That's it for now, please subscribe for more free WordPress help, rate the video if you learned something and I'll see you in the next video. I'm Greg Narayan and thank you for watching.